I started the channel four months ago. And thanks to you, after 13 episodes, we have our first musical guest from Hawaii. Get ready for this special edition. Welcome to Japan Dream! Introducing Honoka, the famous ukulele player and singer who lives on Oahu. She's also popular on YouTube. In fact, this video of a Queen cover has over a million views. Today, we hang out with her in Yokohama at the legendary restaurant and bar Stoves. Honoka just wrapped up her sold out Japan tour and made some time to hang out with us. Hey, Honoka. Oh, hey, good to see you. I first met Honoka in 2015 and my radio show on Inter FM in Tokyo. I also had the chance to perform with her in several events in Yokohama. So Honoka, you're the first guest on Japan Dream. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I shouldn't say guest, I should say celebrity guest. No, I'm not. <laughs> so what made you want to start playing the ukulele? So I originally started playing the ukulele when I was eight. Uh, after I got my first ukulele from Santa Claus and I've been playing ever since. But I started performing around the age of 15 and that's when I first met you, Ben. Let's talk about your, uh, your teacher. Jody, is Jody Kamisato your original teacher? So my first teacher was Troy Fernandez and then um, of course I learned a lot from him. And then when I was about in middle school, I went to Ukulele Hale where Jody Kamisato, he's the owner and founder of Ukulele Hale. I actually used to teach there like before COVID started. That's kind of zetaku for you to be like teaching in Hawaii. I mean, kind of like, uh, you know, lucky for the students. Nah, I think half of them don't know who I am, so it helps. It's very humbling and it's very fun. So what do you love about the ukulele? So I've been playing the ukulele since I was eight and I'm 24 now, but I've seen all kinds of people, all walks of life play the ukulele. And every time I see someone play, they are very happy. I don't see like a sad ukulele player. So that's one thing that I love about the ukulele. It's just a happy instrument. What's your all-time favorite song to cover or to play on the ukulele? I think all-time song to perform would be Miserlu because I've been playing it since forever, but it never gets old. But right now, I really like Queen's uh, Don't Stop Me Now because it's really, like, it changes all the time. I think it's because I mean, their music is like that. It goes fast, slow, uh, like loud, soft, and then it's super fun to play on the ukulele. So tell us about your Japanese roots. Uh, you're Nikkei Nisei? Sansei? No, no, no. I was born in Japan. I was born in Osaka. And then I, when I was I think, like three months, I moved to Shonan. So I lived in Shonan until I was six, and then I moved to Hawaii. Favorite places in Japan, aside from your birthplace, Osaka? Ooh, my favorite place, I think, there's so many, everywhere is so different, but I think since I lived in Shonan and I have a lot of friends there, uh, I love to go to Shonan, it's like my second uh, home. Shonan desu ka? <laughs> I forgot about your jokes. <laughs> Coming up next, Honoka will perform a song for us. Don't miss it. But before that, I want to thank the sponsor of this episode, Hawaiian Water. It's pure water that comes from Hawaii. You've seen their bottles on flights from Hawaii, and now you can get them online. Servers are available too for your home or office. Click the links below for ultra pure Hawaiian water and check out their Instagram too. Mahalo. Okay, let's get to your hobbies. What do you like to do back home? I know you're a surfer. Yeah, um, in Hawaii, unlike Japan, there's not much to do and everything would probably be like nature oriented. So I like to surf and 
yeah, when I'm not playing ukulele, I'm probably surfing. When I'm not surfing, I'm playing ukulele. And it's the best feeling ever, I'd say. Ukulele tips, something really easy that you could tell uh, beginners. Uh, the strumming, instead of using your whole arm and moving your whole arm, we say, kind of like a shaka, you, you know, when you're shaking your wrist, you want to strum the same way. So you have your shaka, point to your finger, point to yourself, and then strum. That way, it doesn't tire your whole arm out, and you can play faster. Tell us about your future plans and goals. So I'm actually here this time in Japan to record my first full album. I plan to release a couple singles and then the full album sometime next year, 2023. I was here recording for like a total of eight days, just all day and night. It was such a fun experience just with friends and making music, you know, the whole process. And in that eight days, we ended up uh, recording 10 songs, so the album will have 10 songs. Nice! Honoka, tell us what you love about Japan. What I love most about Japan has to probably be the people. When I come home to Japan, I have so many moms and dads <laughs> that like this tour, they planned everything. I'm staying at, you know, their house, they're driving me everywhere and Everyone's like family and they just take care of you and it's it's amazing. It's like you've never left. And now, to your fans all around the world, a message from Honoka. Aloha to you tuning in from wherever you are in the world. Uh, thank you so much for the endless support since I was this tall to now I'm 24, but uh, I have a new album, new exciting music coming out. Uh, in the future, so please stay tuned and again, mahalo nui lua for all of your love and support. Nihon no mina san, aloha! Uh, it's 
サポートしてくれて本当に本当にありがとうございます今回は日本に来てフルアルバムをリコードしたので今後あの音楽新しい音楽楽しい音楽を出すのでそれをチェックしてねマハロヌイのワイナありがとうございます Mahalo so much, Honoka. You are truly amazing. Everybody, check out her links in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really does help the channel. Mahalo for watching, and I'll see you again soon on Japan Dream. <laughs>